Founded in 1963 through consolidation of Unitarian and Universalist women's organizations, the UU Women's Federation, or UUWF, has evolved into an education, advocacy, and funding organization with a vital mission to advance justice for women and girls and to promote their spiritual growth. UUWF is one of two associate member organizations of the UUA, along with the Unitarian Universalist Service Committee. Please welcome UUWF President Claire Sexton. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am so happy to be here and so honored to be a part of the UU Women's Federation. It's been quite a year, from the energy of the Women's March to the explosion of the Me Too movement to the smaller, quieter daily activities. Millions of people have spoken out and called out gender injustice lately. We seek to push our society further and faster toward the end of the imperialist, white supremacist, white supremacist, capitalist, heteropatriarchy. As Unitarian Universalists, we are called to break the cycles of oppression within and beyond our denomination. Our small and active board is comprised of passionate volunteers committed to gender justice and intersectionality. As announced at last year's GA, we are proceeding for UU Women and Religion to become a key program of the UUWF, combining forces in our mutual quest toward diverse religious feminisms and gender equity. The New Prophetic Sisterhood, a project of the UUWF, continues its work to amplify the voices and ministries of women-identified religious professionals and serve as a platform for sharing their sermons and other public acts of ministry. This year, we expanded the scope of this project to include not only clergy, but all religious professionals, and now engage over 250 colleagues. One of the initiatives of the New Prophetic Sisterhood is the annual Justice for Women and Girls Sermon Award, this year's submissions most frequently addressing Me Too, both inside and outside UU. The award recipient for 2018 was Claire Fortune Ladd, the Director of Religious Education in Haverhill, Massachusetts. She delivered her sermon, Me Too, Now What?, during the last program slot. Our Margaret Fuller funding projects this year include major funding to document UU women's history in the Heresy's special collection at Meadville Lombard, one that was close to Denny Davidoff's heart. She asked UUWF to contribute to the preparation of the Heresy's archive to be converted to searchable online documents to be more accessible to everyone. Additionally, we are providing funding for the authors of an upcoming, upcoming Skinner House book project, Speaking Our Stories and Telling Our Truths, Black Women Clergy in Unitarian Universalism to share their stories in person in promotion of this important and timely anthology. An equity and justice grant this year provided funds for a congregation in Harrisburg to offer childcare during the 40-day season of civil actions by the Poor People's Campaign of Pennsylvania at the state capitol as part of the larger campaign, the National Call for Moral Revival. The Marjorie Bowen's Wheatley Scholarship Program provides direct financial support to aspirants or candidates to the Unitarian Universalist Ministry or candidates in the UUA's religious education or music leadership programs who identify as women of color, Latina, or Hispanic. This past year's recipients were Diane Daniels of Norwich, Connecticut, and Sana Saeed of Arlington, Massachusetts. We are so pleased to support Diane and Sanaa on their path to ministry and encourage others to apply. The next application for the scholarship is October 1st. Our interfaith, intersectional equity and justice work in 2018, just from January to May, 
included support of equal pay, with an ongoing commitment to recognizing the even greater disparity for women of color and women with disabilities, advocacy for a federal paid family leave policy, with and continued fierce opposition to efforts to overturn reproductive rights and choices. Many thanks to the UWF Minister, Reverend Marty Keller, for her expertise and her energy for this important ongoing advocacy. She's fabulous. These are just examples over, of our work over the past year. And we regularly post actions and information to our members and the public through social media. The UUWF seeks to amplify the voices of women in the Unitarian Universalist movement and the voices of UU women in our country. We are committed to engaging UUs in the work for gender justice in an intersectional way. For more information here at GA, come talk with us at booth 322 in the exhibit hall. Just look for the red tent. And for updates throughout the year, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our website, uuwf.org. We 